Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, welcome to the Hawaiian Shirt Papa tour of Evergreen Thrift Store on Ferry Street in Niagara Falls. Ferry Street becomes Lundy's Lane a uh, short distance beyond the store. Here we are, they, even at this time of year they had a bunch of stuff out on the street that would grab your attention. And if you noticed on the outside before, on those still photos, there's a driveway, a very narrow driveway, but there's a driveway to the back where there's plenty of parking. Uh, although you have to drive past a couple of doors on the, the driveway and then um, walk all the way back because there's no back entrance to the store. Anyway, here we are going in. This is a little bit of a treasure chest there's a bit of everything here some really nice stuff I saw some interesting um, vintage stereo equipment which was kind of nice I wasn't looking for any but just if, in case somebody was looking for some I have seen it there this is not our first visit to this location um, we've been here a few times before we only recently did find it um, we're not in Niagara Falls on a super regular basis, but often enough that we have learned about it. Here we are just looking around. You've got books, magazines, CDs, DVDs, VHS, sets of ceramics. Um, yeah, there's even some clothing. There's other hard goods. There's uh, glassware, crystal. Um, looks like some hampers on top, uh, you'll be seeing them shortly. Uh, don't remember, oh, there's LPs. I don't know if they still had the uh, stereo equipment. It's actually a really good brand name. So, and, and a reasonable price, I must say. It was a reasonable price. Toothpick holders. <laughs> Here we go with the old glass and crystals. They're not all crystal, some of them are pressed glass or so as it's also referred to as depression glass. So and the probably some porcelain as well. Little little knickknacks, so uh, this it, it's reasonably well organized. There's the hampers up top. Some other furnishings, some canister set there. U ubiquitous travel bottles, water bottles. And here we go, we've got all sorts of other items here. It's not a very large store, um, right up front. We can say that you can walk into the into it and go straight to the back very quickly if you choose to. Um, there's only two aisles that go from between the front and the back. The front and back, uh, the front actually has like three or four very short aisles that connect to these two. Here's the one side of the counter has electronics and. And then they've got some jewelry and I have, I have gotten a Hawaiian shirt from there in the past, but not on this trip. All kinds of stuff that they have. Quite the, quite the collection, quite the collection. 
uh, this is a section where they got children stuff. There's a section where they got uh, just wires and chargers and that kind of stuff. The usual pots, pens, and stuff like that in one area as well. They're very small sections, but there's plenty of variety within them. I think on this trip I did pick up a, a one or two maps, uh, vintage ones. Um, I think one was for Ontario Place. Of course, we all know that Ontario Place is no more. The locations there, there's talk of doing some new development, but I think it's been closed some 10 years or so at this point. In any case, I appreciate if you click on the subscribe and hopefully you also choose to do the the bell icon so you get notified of the next uh, video when it comes posted and we're getting close to the point where we're gonna have to say see you at the next video take care folks bye, -bye. <laughs>